Hey guys, welcome back to CBAX tutorial channel and this is our situation number 65 from CE board exam November 2022 for structural engineering and construction. Identify the degree of indeterminacy and of the structures shown. Ito actually napakadali lang ng topic na to pero karamihan sa mga estudyante nagkakamali dito kasi hindi nila masyado talagang ano nauunawaan yung bilang ng mga reaction sa kada support and hindi rin talaga lubos ang naunawa ng mga student ang different between support and connection. So, kung gusto niyo ng detailed discussion and step-by-step -step procedure ng discussion about the stability and determinacy of a structure, meron kaming playlist niyan under sa chapter 1 ng structural theory. So, i-visit nyo lamang yung link na nakaprovide sa description ng video na to and andun yung mga detailed discussion namin. So, ito yung mga structure natin. So, yung una is, ano ba to? Beam. Ayan. Continuous beam. Actually, under din sa topic na, or sa chapter 1 ng aming structural theory is, yung pagtukoy ng classification ng structure. So, ito classify natin. This is, continuous beam. Ayan. Ito naman, obvious. This is, frame. Ito, pwede natin siya i-consider as truss, pero mas gusto ko siyang i-consider as pin-connected structure. Bakit natin kailangan magtukoy ng classification ng structure para alam natin kung ano equation na gagamitin natin para ma-determine yung determinacy and yung stability ng ating structure. So, for number one, for the continuous beam. So, since continuous beam to, or beam siya, Ang equation para dito is R or siguro, yes, small r pala yung ginagamit doon. Small r is equivalent to 3n. Na kung saan, ang ating n is number of members. Kaso dito kasi, ang indeterminacy kasi niya or degree of indeterminacy n. So, gawin natin yung ating n dito sa equation as m na lang. Number of members. Then, yung ating r is the number of reactions sa lahat ng reac reactions sa mapasupport man yan or connection. So, dito sa ating number 1, we have a fixed support na kung saan meron siyang reaction na tatlo. Vertical, horizontal, and moment. Tapos, meron tayong exterior roll, roller support. So, ang ating reaction dito is perpendicular sa kanyang longitudinal axis or sa, sorry, not longitudinal axis, sa kanyang surface. Horizontal kasi yung surface niya. And ito naman, interior support. Ah, yes. Take note, no? Kapag kulay red, ang gagamitin kong mga reaction, under siya sa support. Then, kapag kulay blue naman, under siya sa connection. Okay, baka yung dalawang yan. So, yan. So, ibig sabihin, we have how many reactions here? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, 5. Then, ito, we have 3. So, saan ang galing yung 3? We have 3, ano kasi, eh? 3... So, ito kasi is number of unknown. Ito naman number of equation. Yes, we have three, ano kasi, three types of internal forces or internal, ano ba tawag doon? Yes, internal forces dito sa beam. And that is the axial force, shear force, and bending moment. So, since tatlo sila, kapag in-analyze natin yung gagamitin natin sila ng tatlong equations of equilibrium, which is summation of forces vertical, summation of force horizontal, and summation of moment is equivalent to 0. Yun yung 3 na yun. 3 equations per member. Ilan ba ang member? Yung ibang estudyante, ang binibilang nila dyan is dalawa. No. That is 2 segment. Pero kung member, isang member lang sila. Ayan. So ito, segment, let's say, segment AB, segment BC. Pero, ito, buong member siya. Kaya nga, hindi ko siya, itong reaction to ha, nakita nyo, kulay red siya. Bakit? Kasi hindi siya under sa connection. Hindi naman niya pinag-connect ang dalawang member. ba? Ang sinuportahan pa rin niya is yung isang member lamang. So, consider natin to as support. To be specific, this is an interior support. So, we have only one member. So, ilan to? Ayan. So, 5 is greater than 3. So, since ang ating number of unknowns is greater than sa number of equation, therefore, ang ating structure is statically, ayan, sulat natin ang buo, statically indeterminate. So, since indeterminate ang ating structure, meron siyang degree of indeterminacy. That is, N is equivalent to, pagbalik ta rin lang natin to, ah, what I mean is, 
i-transpose lang natin yung 3m. So, this is r minus 3m. But this is 5 minus 3. Therefore, ang ating degree of indeterminacy is 2. Yan. So, second degree. O, di ba? Napakasimple lang. Pero, nakakamali yung mga bata sa pagbibilang ng mga reaction and pagtukoy ng, uh, pagtukoy ng structure and at the same time yung mga connection. So, number 2. For the train. So, ang ginagamit ko dito na equation is general equation which is u is equivalent to e. Ano nga ba to? Yung u is the number of unknowns and yung ating e is number of equations. So, ang included sa ating u is yung reactions. Lahat ng reactions sa ating train. So, saan magagaling yun? Sa support. Yan. And then, kasama rin yung mga tinatawag natin na internal forces. So, kapag frames, we have three internal forces per member. Ano na yung mga yun? Tinukoy na natin siya sa number one. That is the shear force, actual force, and bending moment. Ano naman ngayon yung E? Yung ating E is the number of equations per joint. So, we have three equations. That is summation of forces vertical, horizontal, and summation of moment is equivalent to zero. So, paano nangyaring three? Kasi, di ba meron tayong ano, ano? three internal forces dito. So, kapag kinuha natin tong joint na to, ang involved dyan ay vertical, horizontal, and bending moment. So, sa joint na to, ang gagamitin natin ay tatlong equations. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. Then, bilangan na tayo. So, U is equivalent to E. Then, ang ating reaction dito, we have pin. So, dalawa. Then, roller. So, tatlo. And then, plus, internal forces. Ilan yon? Tatlo kada member. Ilan bang member natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6 members. It's equivalent to E. We have 3 equations per joint. Ilan ang joint natin? 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mamaya sabihin niyo, Sir, ang involved lang naman dito na force is vertical para to sa roller. Eh, bakit tatlo ang ating equations para dyan sa joint na yan? Okay. Remember, kapag tinat natin tong member na to, lalabas dyan or i-consider natin yung ating three internal forces. Kaya tatlo pa rin yung ating equations na gagamitin dyan. So, ilan to? So, 3 plus 18, that is 29, uh, 21, sorry. Which is greater than 2, 3 times 6, 18. So, since ang ating U is greater than E or ang ating unknowns ay greater than sa equations, for equilibrium, therefore, ang ating frame dito is statically indeterminate. So, since statically indeterminate dyan, meron tayong N, which is equivalent to U minus E. This is 21 minus 18, which is 3. Yan yung ating degree of indeterminacy. Next, problem number 3, for the pin connected structure. Ayun pala. <laughs> Kanina, nung sinasabi ko to, or parang ano, Parang kinaklassify ko tong structure na to. Sabi ko, di ba, trust? Pero mas i-consider ko siya as pin-connected structure, which is tama para talaga. Ayan. Uh, pin-connected structure kasi talaga to. Um, Pag-trust kasi, ewan ko, basta pag ganito siya, alam naman natin na trust, di ba? Bridge trust, roof trust, yun. Yun yung mga basic trust talaga natin. Pero pag ganito, pin-connected structure natin siya. Ito, hindi ba natin siya pwedeng tawagin as pin-connected? No. If you say pin-connected, meron tayong mga members na Ang connection ay pin. Ito, wala naman. Ang connection natin dito ay lahat fix. Kaya natin siya pwede i-consider as pin connected. But instead, it is classified as frame. Okay? So, sana malino sa inyo yun. So, sa number 3, so since pin connected structure 2, ang gagamitin natin dito is 3 is equivalent to 3N. Parehas lang sa ating continuous pin. So, number of reactions sa lahat ha, sa supports and connection. Ano bang support natin dito? Dalawang pin. Ano ba ang connection natin dito? Pin. So, ano ang, uh, ano ang reaction natin sa connection? Dalawa. Diba? Kasi pin yan. Kaya nga kulay blue, connection. Ito naman red, support. So, we have how many reactions lahat? Six. Then, equivalent to three, how many members? We have one, two. So, we have two members. So, this is equivalent to 
6 is equivalent to 6. So since ang ating number of unknowns is equivalent to the number of equations needed for the structure, therefore, this is statically determinate. So since statically determinate yan, kapag kinuha natin degree of indeterminacy niyan, that is r minus 3n, so 6 minus 6 is equivalent to 0. Kaya ang sagot natin dyan is equivalent to 0. Ayan. So ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng mga yan? Kung gusto nyo talagang matutunan, ang ibig sabihin ng statically indeterminate, statically determinate, and also unstable structure, pwede nyo nga i-visit ang aming playlist under sa chapter 1 ng Structural Theory 1. So kita ka na lang tayo sa for, for detailed discussion. So sana marami kayong natutunan dito sa ating situational problem number 65 from Seaboard Exam. November 2022. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.